Hi everyone, it's Amy here from the White Lab House. I'm gonna take you thrifting with me at our local Goodwill. At the end of this video, I'm gonna show you everything I've gotten at local thrift stores for the past two weeks. All right, let's get started. The first thing I found was this wooden cheese plate with the glass dome. Um, I like these, I, I don't have one, I've always wanted one, but the $4.99 price tag was just too much for me. I thought these tins were really cute. I don't collect tins and I'm pretty sure they were all modern but meant to look vintage. Um, so I left them on the shelf. Plus I thought the prices were too high on them. I did love this large navy uh, metal rolling cart. Um, the problem that I had with it was um, most of my home decor is in black and whites with pops of color. I don't do a lot of navy um, and besides spray painting it, um, I, it just wasn't going to fit well in my house. Um, but I did think the price tag was fair on it. I also loved these stoneware mugs from Japan. Um, the problem was there was only three and I tend to only buy mugs and glassware and stuff is if they're in a set of four or six. I loved this cast iron piece. If you look, it has like the um, teddy bears, like the front and the back. I'm not exactly sure what you would bake with it, but oh my gosh, look at how cute that is. And also it would be a beast to ship because it is it was so heavy, but really, really cute. I just had no need for it. I love this little black and white sign. I thought it was really cute. I thought this next item was really cool. I've never seen anything like it. Um, it's like this box set of paper mache. I don't know if they're little plates or coasters, but it's originally from um, Japan. I just thought it was really pretty. I love the coloring and the fact that you could see all the knots in this little wooden vase. I did not grab it, but now I am kicking myself for not getting it. This piece reminded me so much of my good friend Nicole from Nicole North Garden. She loves strawberry decor. Um, and when I saw it, I just thought of her instantly. Sometimes the Goodwills in this area run really um, high and expensive. I didn't think the price take of this little frog cookie cutter was too bad, but then other pieces were just too much. Now this is something I do love and collect, uh, vintage Pyrex pieces, especially in the solid prints. Um, I do have quite a few and I'm running out of places to store them and have been toying with the idea of selling them off. This is another piece that just screams Nicole North Garden. Um, I actually called and asked her if she had this piece already and she did, but I thought it was pretty cool. Uranium glass is just such a cool thing. I don't collect it, but I know there's a lot of people out there that do. I absolutely love this pig serving platter. It totally reminds me of the white and black um, enamelware that I actually collect too. It is so, so cute. I wasn't a big fan of the $5.99 price take though. 
I thought this was a really sweet little planter with its scalloped edge. All right, let's move on to the haul. If there's something you see here that I am not planning on keeping, feel free to email me at amy at whitelabhouse.com and we can work out a deal. This first item I picked up at the Goodwill Outlet Bins. I'm either gonna sell it or put it in my Etsy shop. It's this beautiful little um, hand-painted Nippon piece that I thought was gorgeous and I just had to save it from the, from the landfill. I also got this little wooden box uh, from the bins and I plan to use it for some sort of craft. I also found these mugs at the Goodwill Outlet bins. Um, they remind me of winters in Wisconsin where I'm from, but they were so pretty. I am probably going to list them in my Etsy shop or sell them. I grabbed this large strainer from the bins as well. Um, we are always looking for larger strainers for our family. Uh, we have a family of six, so when we cook, it's usually a substantial amount of food. I love the colors on this Fitz and Floyd uh, little bowl. It's from 1975. I love the tan, and then it has a little stripe of black on the bottom. I am going to keep it for myself. I love this next little bowl as well. I'm keeping it for myself. I paid 50 cents and it's just a cute little black bowl that I might just put on my dresser to hold uh, odds and ends. I grabbed this little um, canvas stand. I'm gonna spray paint it and then use it to showcase some of my daughter's art. I grabbed these uh, taper holders, they're originally from Ikea. I'm going to spray paint them black and use them in my home. These little wood veneer um, little bird pieces were just too fun to pass up. They're just great to have for little craft projects. I picked up this little vintage, um, I don't know if it's a goose or a duck, it's um, Odagiri, Odagiri, I never quite know how to say that, but it's from Japan and I do plan on listing this. You know I could not pass up these sweet little deer salt and pepper shakers. 
How cute are they? They are so adorable. They actually went to my friend Nicole and um, she collects little deer as I do, but I thought she would just love them. I grabbed these two string beads. They were like a quarter a piece. Um, the beads are larger than the normal, like cheap little string beads. And I'm going to do a project with them that I will showcase at a later date. Oh my gosh, I love these so much. I am keeping these for myself. I don't usually do a whole lot of navy, but I could not pass these up. They're really, really cute. I found this at a local garage sale. It is a TNV Limoges um, plate, hand painted. These usually go for quite a bit of money, so I'll probably list this in my Etsy shop. Um, I'm hoping to be able to get that sticker off without damaging the plate. I wish people would not put stickers, especially on the front. Um, we'll see if I'm able to get it off, but I thought it was really pretty, and like I said, it will go in my Etsy shop. I also found these little cuties at one of our local garage sales. Look at how sweet they are. They are just so stinking cute. I am going to list them in my Etsy shop. Um, they are they go around um, candle tapers for the Christmas time. I am keeping this little cutie for myself. Uh, he is just adorable. He will go perfectly in my Easter decor and I just could not pass him up. These California raisin dudes are straight up out of my childhood. <laughs> they are so funny. I will be listing them in my Etsy shop. I grabbed these two black and white little bowls from Japan to go in my Etsy shop as well. I grabbed this sweet set of strawberry mixing bowls. Um, it's by Kobe's Kitchen, Kobe Kitchen from Japan. I had never heard of that brand, but they are adorable and were in perfect condition. They will go in my Etsy shop. I found these new kitchen towels for $3.99 each from Goodwill. Um, they came in a pack of two and I just fell in love with the designs. I love the gingham or buffalo check plaid ones.
I haven't decided if I'm going to keep this cute little black wire basket for myself to put in my, probably my master bath, or if I'm going to sell it. I grabbed this black candlestick to use in a tiered tray craft that I'm going to do. I picked up this sweet aqua colored bunny for my Easter decor. It looks like glass, but it is actually plastic. Um, it's just really cute. I'm gonna put jelly beans or something in it for Easter. I got this cute little deer figurine to keep for myself. I love the little butterfly on its head. These two CP Limoges plates were in perfect condition. They will go on my Etsy shop. They usually sell um, on Etsy for a fair amount of money, so I'm excited to list them. This little hand-painted plate from Austria will also go in my Etsy shop. I just thought it was really pretty and I didn't want it to end up either broken or in the landfill. I love this little frog cookie cutter. I do not collect frogs, nor do I need this, but it was just so cute, and I will probably end up selling it. And here's another little black and white sign that I just love um, that I will be keeping for myself for probably for our master bedroom. And that is all I have for you today. If you see something you like that I was not going to keep for myself, feel free to email me at amy at whitelabhouse.com. Um, and we can work out a deal. Otherwise, we will see you next time. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.